Hello! Welcome everyone to today's Spark at Home. Davis Leong here and today we're going to be exploring some science behind densities and solubility and attempt to make our own colored liquid rainbow. You have to set yourself up with some water, uh, four different types of food coloring and some salt or sugar. You're also going to want some sort of syringe or turkey baster to help move your liquids around, a vessel to mix in, and finally a vessel to put your colored rainbow in. So the way that this experiment works is it runs off of a principle called density. So every substance, every liquid substance has a specific density. So water we often refer to of having a density of one gram per milliliter. Now, what happens is, is when you play with that density is you can get liquids to sit on top of each other. For each solution of every color, you're going to want to use the same amount of water each time. So for this experiment, I've used about 50 milliliters of water. Any amount will work. You just want to keep it the same for all of the solutions. We're going to add a few drops of our red food coloring here. Now we're going to take a little bit of just regular table salt. White sugar will also work as well. And we're just going to start with a teaspoon of salt right into our solution. And we're going to try to stir that up a little bit until all of that salt has dissolved. It's important to remember that as you make up your other colors of solutions, you're going to increase the amount of salt by one teaspoon for each one. So I have one teaspoon of red, two teaspoons in the yellow, three in the green, and four in the blue. So now we're ready to start stacking our liquids and attempt to create our liquid rainbow. Now we made them up starting from the least dense to the most dense, but we're actually gonna stack them in the opposite direction because now this is the heaviest and it will go to the bottom. So we'll start with some of our blue here. We're just gonna pull up a little bit of it you're also going to want to try to be as consistent as possible with the various volumes that you put in so that you get a nice tiered rainbow. So this first layer we don't have to be too, too careful with. It's going to keep going here, so now we're going to add some of our green solution. There you have it. So you can start to see there's some separation between the layers. And you know, you could leave this out over time and see if the layers are gonna mix themselves together a little bit more. You can try this experiment again, varying the densities even more. You could create different mixtures of colors by going with different sequences of densities. But give this a try at home and share with us your rainbow columns in whatever form they may take at sparkscience.ca on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks everyone and we'll see you guys again soon.